So here I've got an update to my Arduino project. I was just playing around with a servo here, and I had written a little Arduino uh, sketch that took the um, uh, serial input from my computer and basically allowed me to move the servo um, to any of a between one uh, zero and 180 degrees. Like I can put in different. Um, you know, degrees of either a 180 if I want it all the way to the left, or a zero if I want it all the way to the right. But the cool thing is, is I then took that and, with a couple other pieces, have it actually hooked up to my iPad. So with my iPad, I can move this little on-screen rotary dial, and uh, while the servo doesn't throw the full 360, or, uh, what is that, about 300 degrees that the on-screen rotary dial does. It uh, matches it pretty cool, pretty well. And so, the way this is all working is, on my computer is a uh, small processing, uh, it's this new language I'm discovering with, uh, uh, that basically Arduino is built on, uh, this language called processing. I've got a little processing sketch running, um, which is cool, it's all built on, actually, on top of Java, it's a, you know, language on top of Java, that is talking over a protocol called OCS, for Open Sound Control, it seems to be some kind of, um, on, um, you know, basically, like, sound and lighting board technology, and basically my iPad is running an open, a, uh, $5 app called, uh, Touch OCS, sending signals over Wi-Fi to my desktop um, and there's a little on-screen um, graphic that represents the value that it's gotten from the iPad and then on top of that it's actually writing out serially um, what uh, you know to my Arduino what position the servo should be so it's basically a piggyback chain of touch OCS or, I'm sorry touch OSC over Wi-Fi to this little processing app which is then writing over serial over my USB to my Arduino and the Arduino on pin 9 I believe is PWM controlling the servo and I've got basically match moving being able to control my servo over my iPad. whole bunch of pieces that come together to be, uh, have a lot of potential. I can definitely see building a robot that uh, uses the iPad as a controller, or iPhone. Actually, I was doing it with the iPhone, but my iPhone's my only video camera, so uh, I had to actually install uh, the Touch OSC on um, my iPad to do this little demo. But anyway, Cool little project for tonight. Probably took me less than an hour or so of downloading, installing, processing, taking the one of their examples that I found online of doing this with blinking an LED uh, and converting the program so that instead of an on-off toggle, it's a rotary dial. Um, oh, oh, and actually the way o, uh, Touch OSC works is there is... Um, an editor uh, program that you basically can sync. You create your layouts on the computer here and then sync them to the iPhone app. Um, basically via Bonjour, uh, it, zero conf finds, uh, there's basically a sync button up here. You sync and uh, it'll sync it onto the device on, wi uh, on the Wi-Fi network. And then I've got my layout, as they call it, a touch OSC. Touch OSC layout on my iPad, which is sending OSC signals to that processing app. Um, and the processing app has a OSC library that I had to import um, that basically has, as you can see here, uh, you know, an OSC library and imports a bunch of stuff here, which is there's an OSC P5 jar that I had to import.
basically news an OS uh, P5, news the serial port, so because it's going to talk to the Arduino, and um, basically gets events when uh, you know this this sends uh, I think UDP packets to uh, this computer because uh, on port 8000 because that's what it's listening on as you can see here it's listening on port 8000 and um, yeah coolness one more time